Okay, I'm here at Light Motion, and I'm going to be speaking with Blaze. Blaze, you tell us a little bit about more about the Sola and which one in particular. Absolutely, I'm. A, I've got the Sola Night Sea here in my hands, and this is a light that is designed to excite fluorescence in underwater critters. And uh, what that means is it's very similar to a black light, except about ten times more effective at exciting fluorescence. So uh, what I'm going to do is give a little demonstration. Um, I've got a little cap in my hands. I'm going to show you what that does in just a little bit. Okay. So the first thing to know is that the Sola Night Sea puts out a very bright blue light. So when I shine it on the table here, you'll see that it's this, uh, this very bluish tint. Now what I have here are some, uh, some fishing lures that are very fluorescent in color. Um, and I'm going to shine the blue light on them. And you'll see that they sort of light up. But uh, the really important thing is to have a yellow filter in front of your lens, which so, does uh, what you're about to see here on the camera. Okay, so, so put, we'll put that the in camera front. filter on. And what that does, it really starts to glow. It filters out all of the blue light, but it allows the fluorescence to, uh, to come through. <laughs> Wow, so, um, so what this means is that a lot of underwater critters have these fantastic fluorescent patterns on their bodies, very similar to what you're seeing here. Uh, so when you go down and you uh, you take a video at, of this at night, uh, it's just this very unusual, surreal experience um, that's really not like nothing else. Um, a lot of people have told me that uh, they've done everything in diving, but that this is something that's completely new, completely different, that nobody's ever done. Light in Motion has um, has been working with the company Night Sea in order to, uh, to to license this technology. Um, this was created by Night Sea just a few years ago, so it's something very new and different uh, than than what's ever been seen before. So wait, now they've got to go on a night dive twice because they've got to go regular or normal, and then they've got to go back with the the Sola Night Sea in order to see what's down there now. Well, not quite. Okay. Because uh, that, remember that cap that I said I was going to show oh, you? Oh, yeah. So okay. um, so when you're diving with the blue light, what you noticed when we put the, the uh, yellow filter over the lens is that that eliminated the blue light, which means that uh, the blue light is not useful for navigation. So all you're going to see are going to be the uh, the critters that are fluorescing. Okay. Well, let's say you want to navigate to your next site, but since you can't see the blue light, you're not going to be able to do it with this. Right. Um, what this cap does is it's a phosphorus material that absorbs the blue light and it re-emits it as white. So I'm going to shine it here at the table. I'm going to put the cap on it, and this turns it into a white light. So you're now able to do just a regular night dive as Perfect. well. So, okay, so I can do both in one dive. Exactly. So this allows you to navigate between your uh, your different dive sites. Um, you know, you get to your next critter, and then you go, okay, well, I want to see I want to see if this fluoresces. You can take this right back off, right. And, you're, uh, and you're ready to go again. So the critters, what do they prefer? Um, you know... The, uh, the funny thing is, we found that a lot of critters don't seem to be able to see the blue light, or if they do, it doesn't disturb them very much. Okay, it's um, not a big deal to them. No, it's not a big deal. So you're, you're probably going to uh, spook more critters, but with just a regular white light than you are with the night Oh, light. hello. So if I'm the diver with the blue light, I'll get closer. Exactly. And you know, the, the cool thing about this is, especially for somebody who's taking <laughs> macro video or macro images, uh -huh. um, you can get very close with this light and, and not really to seem to disturb the fish. Um, I know uh, Jim, Jim from Backscatter has, uh, has given us some great video of a lizard fish and just getting so close to this lizard fish that I've never seen, I've never seen anybody get this close to lizard fish. Well, they'll have to look at that too, the yeah. lizard at Backscatter, mm -hmm. he's got it on the web. Yeah, I, cool. I believe he does. So, it's a very neat experience, the Sola Night Sea uh, lets you see things that you've never really seen before underwater. So, we got a taste of it in November, but this is a, I really like this example better, showing off the display. Yeah, the fishing lures are a, are a fun kind of example and it gives you a better idea of what it might look like when you're looking at an underwater crew. Well not only that but you're more likely to find the fishing lures. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right well thank you very much. Thank you.